We are out here getting a look at Bayou Rifle Club a day before team starts. All is calm. For those that remember, this used to be like a giant pond and it's been filled in. So this video brought to you by Shooting Bot. I use Shooting Bot because I like to set up in stock alerts for primers, powder and other items. I can go in and search for something like 180 hybrids. It'll show me who has it and if they don't, how long they've been out of stock and what the last pricing was. And I can create a notification list so that if anything comes in that's on my list, I instantly get a text. For me, this is the best way to get any components that I'm looking for. So if you're out there looking for primers, powder, brass, bullets, and ammo, give Shooting Bot a try. Maybe next year it'll be able to be parked on. But we still have these gorgeous concrete, uh, concrete covered shooting positions. There's Mr. Eric Cortina. And I gotta tell you, if you've never shot this club, you need to make the trip. It is absolutely gorgeous and one of the best clubs you'll ever shoot. Here is a picture of my team. We are the Target Whisperers. We are sponsored by Dima Stocks and Flavio Triggers. They are both fantastic sponsors for us and are both really good people to deal with. Uh, this was Friday, so Friday was team match, and then we were going to have individuals on Saturday and Sunday. Let's take a look at how we did on team day. Here are the results. You can see that we finished sixth. We had a couple of little issues that really we stumbled on in the first match. But the great thing is we held in there. Second match, we actually won. Uh, we tied on score and out uh one of the upper teams, which really felt great because there are some amazing teams. You have Chingones, you have got Team Vitavori, you've got Team Oklahoma, Lapua, Team With No Name. I mean, these are all Bayou boys. These are all some fantastic shooting teams, including some that were a little bit lower down. Uh, like SoCal Sled Dogs and Team Bullet Central. Lots of great open teams. So to win the second match and finish where we did, I was really happy with our team. And I think with some work over the summer, we are going to go into nationals uh, really feeling confident. Here we are, day one of the TSRA Long Range Championship. This is the third largest match in the country. Hey! Hey! hey. Wait, Eric, where are you going? <laughs> All right, so Eric, you are the match director for this this year, right? Uh, unofficial. Unofficial yeah. match director. <laughs> right, well, you at least help put it together. Yes. And so what's different this year? So this year, uh, because I am the match, I'm the Texas State Rifle Association match director. I'm not the match director at this match. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I got someone to help me with that so that I could shoot. But anyway, so we turned it into pair fire. It, it's been string fire forever or always. I decided make a pair fire. I think it's a better format. It's more fun and it's a more challenging format. Uh, I think it's also more fair. After every line, we're gonna, you know, after, after you shoot your first target, you move around to a different target, different uh, partner, and you shoot again. So we're gonna mix it all up so nobody has any advantage. Uh, and that's never they, really done. That's never really been done at a match before, right? They do it at Bisley. This I, I literally just copied the Bisley style, which is. I think it's phenomenal. And Bisley is internet. For those that don't know, Bisley's over in England. That's international yeah, format, I traveled right? I to that match, and that's a great match. So I said, you know what? I'm going to copy as much as I can. So this is just a, a Bisley-style match, which is great, in my opinion. So yeah. best match I've, I've ever attended. So why not bring it to Texas? So that's what we did. Very cool. It's definitely going to make it more challenging, right? For sure. For sure. All right. Thanks, Eric. All right. And you can see here right now, it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. I've shown you this before, but, you know, it, it is definitely one of my favorite ranges to shoot. It is always beautiful here. Humidity is a little sticky today. I think it said 94%, but it's supposed to drop off by midday to maybe 50 or 60%. Mosquitoes are pretty thick this year. Uh, I'm not a big fan of mosquitoes, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna wait. We're on relay three, or I should say I'm on relay three today. So relay one is getting all set up here. You can see they've got their gear. They're gonna shoot at eight. And then 845 is going to be relay two. And then I'll be shooting at 9.30. And then we just repeat that three times today. And then tomorrow, it will be seed squatted. So what that means is number one is going to shoot with number two, number three with number four, five with six, and so on. And that way, it's really going to make it an interesting final day as everybody heads towards the finish line. So 
We're going to wait for the uh, sort of match directions and safety briefing, and then we're going to get going. So here's the awesome thing about top markers. We're actually watching the match live. So we have two different shooters or two different pairs up here. And, uh, you know, we just got a big old watch party going on. And so we can just sit here and watch what's going on and have some fun. Here we are getting ready. I'm going to be shooting with my buddy Ted. We got paired up today. I'm next to the great Ken Dickerman over here. And uh, conditions are starting to pick up a little bit. Just a little squirrely, but nothing too crazy. But it is absolutely gorgeous here. Hey, Todd. We are here at the banquet for the Texas State Long Range Championship. And, I mean, it was great. We had this huge tent here all day. Kept, hey, kept us in the uh, shade all day. It was really enjoyable. And uh, we got some really great food over here. I'm almost – somebody's holding my place in line right now. But, I mean, this is some amazing looking – hey, hey, watch out, John. Watch hey. out, hey. What do we got here? We got some chicken. We got rice. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Looking good. <laughs> How's it going, Ted? Pretty good. All right. What do you guys think of this banquet and stuff? So far, it looks pretty good. Yeah. How, uh, how nice was this uh, tent? Yeah. Money. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. It really gave a festival feel to this. It did. It yeah. did. Festival sounds like a good word. Yeah. I think the circus animals are coming out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my turn. All right, we're sitting here enjoying it. Todd, what's your favorite on the, the food there? The brisket. The brisket. Joe? Brisket. David? I haven't tried the brisket yet. I'm going to do it right now. All right. Jason? Brisket. Or Jeremy? Brisket. All right. The company. Oh. <laughs> and the brisket. And the brisket. <laughs> I haven't even eaten mine. Let's uh, Let's dig in. What are we doing here, Eric? We're getting tacos. We're making a taco run. We do this every morning. All right. Look at this. Fresh tacos, fresh tortillas. They're making the, making the tortillas fresh back there. This is a tradition. Every time we come here, every morning, it's a taco run. But, I mean, look at this stuff. It is freaking amazing. We get tacos for everybody in our group. And once in a while, we get some pastries. We. Okay, we, I get some pastries. <laughs> we just finished uh, shooting. Match is over. You can see they're cleaning up, and we are actually headed down to the pits. Now, this match, as I said, was shot on electronic targets, but we still have to go down, pull everything down, clean everything up. So we're going to be down in the pits in, I don't know, another 800 yards or so. You can see there's more people coming down to help, and... I did a video last year and the year before showing this area, and it's really interesting because now this is the same. So this is the backstop, but now there's nothing here. There used to be an actual berm 
that we would stand it under and it's been just graded out. So whereas we used to stand here and there'd be a wall and then the targets would be up in the air, there's nothing. So if we look, everything's here. They do a really great job with their frames. Everything is locked in really solid and it's just right here at ground level and you can see all the way back there is our thousand yard line the interesting thing about this is because they are so low you definitely have a different view with the mirage and everything being at ground level so time to start taking these down put them away and then go see who won this thing i don't know how much work it's going to be because it's a lot of work however there was one person that's been helping me a lot throughout this whole process and I want to recognize him. So I created a special award called the Unsung Hero Award. And that goes to Glenn Edward. Hi, Junior. Joshua Massengill. Oh, yeah. Now, we do have flags for all of these. We're going to have flags for you. And we're going to send it to you because we want it with your name on there. In the meantime, stand up there. Next award is to the high senior. Wow, I didn't know he was that old. Norm Merrill. Wait, Todd Hendricks? Oh. All right, so. Uh, turns out Todd is also very old. <laughs> Todd, get over here. Hi, yeah. Sarah. Yeah. You were looking day over 59, my friend. <laughs> get, up, get up there. Hi, Sarah. Josh got my flag. Hey, I'm a grandson. <laughs> Good job, Todd. Next to I won. And no, we, anyway, I'm not going to go. Tracy Harrell. <laughs> speech, speech, speech. Did you get it? <laughs> Thank you. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. Tell a joke. Timmy learns his joke from her. All right. Now we have a grand, uh, uh, grand senior. Holy oh, smokes. The dog's coming. Mr. Winfrey. Do you need a birthday? Okay. Get up there. I need to talk. Get up there. Get up there. All right, for Doug Scottman. Wait, see up there. We just found out it's also his birthday, so. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dougie. Happy birthday to you. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. All right, FDR, third place, James Cross. And we are uh, standing here. Yeah. Second place, Ray Weaver. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Of course, right there. Take your spot. Yes, sir. 
instrumental as we uh, in uh, first place, Alan Temke. Are you strong enough to hold the trophy? Okay. All right, thank you guys. Congratulations. Third place, Greg Bio. Second place, Peter Jones. And in first place, Eric Cortina. Well, we're leaving the range. We just finished up the uh, Texas State Long Range Championship, and this guy right here had to go and win it. <laughs> five-timer, five-timer club. So it's funny because, uh, you know, we, we were talking when we picked up this stuff at the TSRA office, and he goes, you know, he goes, I think I'm just going to win this thing. <laughs> no, but I say that every time. <laughs> But, uh, if you say it every time, sometimes you're going to be correct. <laughs> but uh, no, great shooting, Eric. And uh, we're headed back to the house here. We're going to get packed up and we fly out at O Dark 100 in the morning. So great time out here as always. Always fun with friends. This range is a destroyer of hope. <laughs> it's, you know, he, Eric's just a master at this range. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Get out and shoot. Yeah, yeah. Keep on <laughs> yeah. Have a good one.